Hello, everyone. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the Nuneaton Press Center today. We've called you here because we've got a couple of big announcements. Uh, player acquisitions, as you all know, have been struggling a little bit out on the wings uh, in the first half of the season here. Not that we don't believe in our current wing players, but they're just having trouble adapting to the faster game in League Two, and we just feel like we need to give them a little bit more time and, uh, and kind of take some of the pressure off them there. So we're, we've got two new acquisitions. They're with the team right now, and they'll be playing in January. I'm really pleased and really excited to bring them out uh, and have them on the team here. They they would be with me here today, but we've run into a couple of uh, technical issues with them. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, first up, uh, their names. Uh, you've got their information. The dossier is there. You can look that over. But uh, Josh Martin, uh, he's a right winger. He's played with both uh, Norwich and Arsenal. Also spent a year uh, with Tampa in the MLS. Uh, really fast. Uh, good crossing, good dribbling, you know, kind of the mold of bringing in a young player that if we had better facilities, we could actually develop into a better player. But, um, you know, at least we got the pieces there and stuff. Uh, second player, Ryan Clark, he is a left winger. Same type of mold, young, really good upside, uh, pretty decent carnability, fast, good crossing and stuff like that. Uh, spent a little bit of time at Stoke, so we're really happy to have him board here too. And if, you know, uh, hopefully he might get uh, not so get so worse by being with our club kind of thing like that. Can I take any questions from anybody before we, uh, we wrap this up here? Yes. There. Uh, I'll just repeat what you said because I, I realize people can't hear it. Uh, Martin, are you worried about, am I worried about his, uh, his determination and stuff like that? The fact that he's, uh, there's been questions about his work ethic. Um, no, I think he's going to be a really hard worker. We, you know, we give everybody a, um, a psychological battery thing, and his uh, determination came out at a two, which is twice as good as a one. Don't anticipate, don't anticipate any issues with hard work or anything like that. Uh, he'd be out here. You can ask him that himself, yourselves. He'd be out here not normally with me, but uh, he was a little bit tired from the, the hour-long bus ride up from uh, the south. And uh, so he's taking a nap for a, a few hours now. And hopefully he'll wake up before the end of practice and you can talk to him then. Uh, anything else? Yeah, over there. Yeah. Uh, repeat that again, too. Uh Ryan Clark, intelligence on the field. Am I worried about that? There's been criticism of his uh, decision-making ability. No, I, again, uh, you know, I, I, you can ask him that yourselves. He's right behind the door. He's trying to figure out which one to open up, and uh, you know, he'll be should have that solved in a little bit. I don't anticipate any problems with his decision-making when we ran into the battery test. I think like a five, so that's five times as good as a one. So yeah, no issues at all. Any other questions before we wrap up here? I, I got to get out on the pitch pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> Am I worried about my job? Uh, how's my relationship with Chairman and Jimmy? Uh, Chairman and Jimmy and I, we have a, a, a relationship and I have the utmost. Um, yeah, we, we talk a little bit. I'm not worried about it <clears throat> at all. Thanks very much, everybody. I uh, hope you'll be out. And we'll see you at the game on the weekend. I got to run. Bye. Welcome back, everybody, to Devotion to Promotion. We are with Nuneaton Borough, approaching the middle of our fourth season with them, our first as a professional team in Skybet League 2. And I have what I think is, by and large, good news. I screwed with the formation. I know, dangerous territory for me, but I really didn't like what the 424 was doing. So I'd like to show you that. Then we'll take a look at results, take a look at the table, and then we're going to take on... Number one, first place team, South End away. The hardest matchup you could get for us to see if this formation holds up. But I'm pretty excited about this. Let me show you what the formation here is. So the 4-2-4 wasn't working. We're giving up way too many goals. I looked in the stats. We are giving up. We're in the bottom third of goals allowed. So we're just giving up a ton of goals. Our offense is okay, but it's just not working. You know, even that game that we watched last time, the last match of the month, we beat Ebb's Fleet 4-3. Great, nice to win, but we're not going to win a lot of games, a lot of matches if we're giving up three goals in a match. And clearly there's some problems. We had some leaks to fix. So... I went from the 4-2-4 or a 4-3-3. I added this. I scratched completely the 4-2-4 and took it out completely. I added this 4-1-2-3. And I switched the defenders to wide here. And this is key. Delcroy, who was a center back, can also play ball-winning midfield, a defensive midfielder. Um, I brought him up to the ball defensive midfielder position, and we're starting to train him now at this position. So that gets another strong body, because we've got some good center backs. That gets another center back on the field. Allows us to go a little bit wider and take a little bit of pressure off our fullbacks, who are still struggling at this level. So that was move number one. Second thing I did, part two, 
is Nya Kirby. He's our best player. He's on loan. He's way too good for us. Fantastic player. His best skill set that we were using was this advanced playmaker support role. But in that role, your individual instructions are don't shoot. So that's a shame because look at his finishing is 12, composure is 12, technique is 13. He should be shooting at this level. So I've got him training now as a center midfielder attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we put him up front in that role there and give him instructions to shoot more. And then, boom, next game, we do that goal. Game after that, goal. Unlock the guy. It's awesome. Third thing we did is Bairn, Jack Bairn out on the right-hand side. Our right wingers just haven't been doing very well. But Jack Bairn can play out there as an inverted winger, just kind of on a chance I stuck him out there. And he's done better than our existing wingers. So all of a sudden, everything seemed to click and check out our results. On the left wing, by the way, too, um, Andrew Robinson was playing out there. He's hurt. And we'll talk about this in a moment, though. And, and so we're trying some of the new guys who I actually thought couldn't play until January, but apparently they can. So I wish I knew that sooner. But anyway, so check out our results. And I'll show you what are we doing here. Schedule. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so after we beat uh, Ebb's Fleet United in the FA Cup first round, which got us that $60,000, $40,000 or whatever it was, we then played uh, Brighton under 23s in this EFL Trophy Cup thing that nobody cares about and I think we had 200 people show up <laughs> we were leading three to two in the 95th minute they got a penalty and tied it up and I thought it was just going to be tied but then we went to penalty kicks and we actually got really lucky and won the penalty kicks so that put us first in our group but we still we beat them Brighton under 23s it seemed like they were a pretty good squad uh, still we're playing the old formation then still playing the old formation 4-2-4-4-3-3-4-2-3-1 type of thing we come and play Gillingham who sits second place in Skybet League 2 and they just manhandled us. I mean, the shots were even, but we just didn't look good. They, they just beat us. Better team, playing them on the road, top of the table. We're just not there yet. Right after that, I switched. Check it out. Cheltenham. Now, Cheltenham's pretty far down the table. I think they're 19th. We got them away, though. Two to nothing. Look at the shots. 21 to four. Oh, we look so good. Then, check this out. <clears throat> FA Cup second round, we drew Doncaster, who sits in the middle of Skybet League 1, the league above us. I thought, God, this is going to be, here we go, we're going to get knocked out. But so critical. I really wanted to see if we could win this one, so I put our best players up, used this formation. Two to nothing win, and look, once again, 16 shots to four. We completely outplayed them. It was just a master class. And all of a sudden, it's like, wow, this formation is working really, really well. We then had Exeter City, who is in third place in Skybet League One in this uh, EFL Trophy Cup that nobody cares about. Uh, we tied them 0-0. Zero to zero, But again, look at that. 22 shots to 10. We outshot them. We lost in the penalty kick, uh, penalty shootout afterwards. Oh, well. But I don't, it would have been nice to get that money because it is a little bit of change and we could use anything we get. So I was kind of disappointed to get knocked out of that when it looked like we were going to get a chance to knock them off. But we, I don't think we we're going to go really far in that anyway. And it, it's kind of chump change compared to the FA Cup. Speaking of which, small side story, tangent here. Our third round draw in the FA Cup is Swindon Town, who is in the National League. They sit third in the National League. We got one of the three remaining teams in the FA Cup that are actually in the league below us. That might sound like a good thing, but I was looking at their schedule. They've been playing really well. They've won five in a row right now, only, what, nine of their past 11. So even though they're a level below us, they got their, they got their stuff about us, so we're going to have to be ready. But still, much better than playing someone from the Premier League at this point in time, especially if it's a match we can win. The prize money for that match is 155,000. Oh, that would do it. That might get us close enough to be able to get facilities to kind of get Chairman Jimmy there to open up his purse and give us some money. Then we went to Salford EFL uh, League Two, uh, another match, home match. We beat them one to nothing, but we outshot them 12 to six. Uh, we had better chances. They kind of just parked the bus in front of us. Uh, they're pretty far down the standing, a 20th. Yeah, they just parked the bus and tried to stall us. It was a little bit of a, a slugfest, but they didn't really threaten very much. We just struggled to score. Uh, but still, so since we've switched up to that 4 2, the 4 1 2 3 formation, we haven't given up a goal. Now, knock on wood, hopefully we can keep that up against South End. But that, and if we take a look at the table because of that now, we uh, sit in 14th place, but we have a match in hand. We had a waterlogged pitch, so our match against Tranmere got 
go back, got called off. So if we were to pick up some points in there, we were to win that one, we could conceivably we'd lose on goal differential. We could go as high as 10th place. So climbing into the top half of that table. But Chairman Jimmy is apparently satisfied where we are now in 14th place. He's pleased about the other things in past. So we're looking fairly safe right now. And the last piece of good news, I think, before we jump into the... Uh, kind of jump into today's match. I graduated from school again. Yes, pretty excited about that. So if we take a look here at my profile, I have my Continental A license. I got another little quarter of a star. So I'm two and a half stars out of five stars. So halfway to being all the way done with reputation enhancements. Actually, I checked. There was, anyway, I'll leave that up. And look at this. This is starting to get a little bit busy. This had about six teams in it a little while ago. This pretty consistently, if I look there, there's teams that want me and are offering me job interviews. And I kind of go to them and most of them I don't get. I have, I think I've got a couple of offers that I've turned down, but uh, not really kind of interested that much in moving unless it was really, really good. Uh, I did get offered a job in the second division of the Spanish leagues, uh, but it was a team right at the bottom and they were going to get relegated and it was just so far in debt. It just didn't make sense to consider that at all. But so if we look at my attributes now, our attributes here, we've got a couple over 10, attacking, defending 12, tactical 12, man management, motivating 12. I was surprised. I thought for this patch, they were going to fix the fact that adaptability, level of discipline and working with youngsters were stuck. These are exactly what they are at the beginning. And there was a bug that means they didn't improve. And I thought they fixed it with this patch, I would assume they would have fixed it. They knew about it and they said they were working on it, but no luck. So adaptability, a level of discipline, our clubhouse is still a big pile of chaos here, but we'll have to, we just, whatever, we can't do much about that, but I'm excited. And I also, right away, we started studying for a continental pro license. It'll take a year. So by December of 2024, I might be all done with my schooling and that would probably put us over halfway in reputation. So pretty excited about that. And I think that's all really I wanted to mention. We should jump right into the match so this episode doesn't get too long. Uh, let's go forward or into team selection. Everything is set today. This is the formation that we've been using that's worked really well as I kind of walked through before. So I don't want to spend too much time on it now. The only thing I did want to mention out at left wing, we've been using Robinson, but he has got hurt. And then I was using now our new player. I put out there Ryan Clark, who looks really good out there. Uh, he has the flu, though, so he is home with the flu. So we're trying our other new acquisition. This is his debut today. Josh Martin can also play out on the left and, of course, is kind of an inverse winger because he's right footed so we're going to try him and just see how it goes if that doesn't work we can bring major in but major has been kind of struggling out there so here's our team pretty much where we're going this is a big test first place in, in sky bet league two away this is the hardest league match we could conceivably get and let's get this started <clears throat> oh we got to give a number here uh, let's auto number sorry i got my notebook in front of the thing there 33 yeah that's fine <clears throat> submit numbers and here we go excited about this be nice to pick up some points here this would convince me that this isn't just kind of a temporary fluke here and that our formation actually has something to do with it even if we don't get points it'd be nice to see if we could uh, at least give them a good match here and maybe kind of outshoot them i expect them to come at us i mean they're playing home here so i this would be a kind of a good test of our formation here i think we this might not be the best formation uh but if a team is kind of parking the bus on us but in this situation this might be a good formation. We are ready to go. Most players are fired up. Who's not supposed to? Oh, Josh Martin, he's new, so he's just kind of getting his head around us yet. <clears throat> Let us begin. We are in the blue, light blue and white on the left-hand side going to the right, and South End is in the kind of grayish blue in the middle here. We're starting out with some pretty good possession. Del Croy to Dixon Bonner, Kirby moving the ball around pretty nicely here. This is off to Martin. Oh, it's not a bad shot for his first little touch there. That's promising. Promising from Martin. I really like how Ryan Clark looks. His form, his work, he's looked really good. He's made, he's looked threatening out on that left side. I think once he gets used to playing with the team and stuff like that, I think he could be a really good acquisition for us. Delcroix, don't lose it. Dixon Bonner feeds it through. Martin, what's he doing? Oh, that's interesting. Kise out on the side. We're moving the ball around. Our possession, too, was not that good last year, but our possession has been about 60% against a lot of teams now. So really possessing the ball well. Barron picks it up. Center it. Oh. So that's not to them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a problem. 
God, whoa, fingertip save. Oh, I thought for sure that was going in. We do seem to get hit on the counters quite a bit. And that's, I'm not sure if they're playing that way, but oh, let's actually just shout at them. Demand more. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, Del Corey pressured. No, calm down. It's okay. All right, they got a first yellow card. Very quiet match, though. We are out shooting them five to three. And now they have the ball. Let's see what happens here. Moving the ball around. This looks like a highlight for them. Oh, I thought Delcroy was going to steal it. Let's see them make a mistake here. High press. Back to their keeper. So he pushed them back nicely. I don't know if that means anything at all, but promising. A little bit of pressure now. Oh, yes, we get the ball. Baron is a really good dribbler, and he seems to work really, yeah, like, <laughs> works great. Just flies by everybody. Burn to Baron, our Burn and Ban partnership. Dixon Bonner moving the ball around. Baron digs it out. He's going to try to dribble by this guy. There it is. Center it. Oh, Kirby with a good header chance in front. I think we've had the better chances here so far. Um, they might, well, I guess their, their breakaway was actually a really good chance too. But I feel like we've been sniffing around their goal more than they've been sniffing around our goal. So let's see if we can do this. It's promising. I'm cautiously excited about this. Oh, wow. Long shot. That didn't. I would have been surprised if that would have gone in. Need to be in a better spot, I suppose. And our headers, I've kind of reset all of our corner formations to get our best players out on that far post. Still using that far post setup. Seven shots to six on target. So far, I feel like we've played... We've, we've played, certainly played even with them here. This is promising for the first place team. Baron goes by everybody. Sends it to Baron. Finish. Oh. Gah! Had some good chances here. Sorry, 40 seconds, 40 minutes to go. Let's do get creative. I'm trying to get creative. I don't know. Does anybody know this? Like, wh what is, what does it do? I, I mean, I, I assume it improves some kind of features or something. Oh, finish it. Oh, gosh, we're all over their goal. 10 shots to three. This is looking good. Of course, they could break, you know, and score pretty easily on us too here. But, hmm, I would, I would be super happy with a draw here. Let's go to the dressing room. Tell the boys that well and their efforts were excellent. We've been the better team here. Just keep doing what you're doing. We've been fine. I used that before and it didn't work. Uh, let's just do I've been happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. <clears throat> you weren't that bad. And then we'll match you with the you weren't that bad to bring them back down a little bit. So we'll pick them up then bring them back down to earth and then send them off. Ready to walk through walls. I think that's the highest you can get, right? The ready to walk through walls result here. But yeah, so my question is like, what's the difference between demanding more? I assume it raises some attributes or something like that and they get creative. Does that raise different attributes? And is there any way that anybody possibly knows? I feel like Byrne could have gotten that. So if you want a goal, do you want to get creative? If you want to defend, do you want to demand more? So far, no goals. But we haven't given up any here, too. We're out shooting them by a 3 to 1 ratio. At 60 minutes, let's take a. Ooh. This feels like something they're going to hurt us with. Maybe not. Oops. Yep. Nope, maybe. It feels dangerous. Ah, I don't like this. I should close my eyes. Yes. Martin gets it. Good. Is that ours? Burn. Yes. Go buy him. Oh. What? That's got to be a red card. Is it red? Oh, he's already booked. Yes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me. Uh, we should make chance. Let's go positive for sure. That sounds like we should be at least be able to do that. Big opportunity here. And we're not doing anything with it yet. I, I, I'm not sure. Really? Boom. Uh-oh. Okay. This. What are they doing? Are they just toying with us now? They don't seem to have changed anything here. They're still attacking. Rut row. Rut row. Oh, yes. So Brian with the big save. Why do they put the ball down and then go back and get it? That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. We should look at some substitutions now, too. Uh oh. Oof. Bar and over. <laughs> they. Seems like they've been better since they've lost a man here. Let's see what we can do here. Martin on the left, 6.5, has not done well. Let's try Major in. And it, it's understandable. It's his first match. Winger attack. Let's try that. That might help a little bit. 6.4, Nya Kirby. 
wow, he hasn't done very well. He's been he's our best player too. Eddie Clark at right left back has not done well. We don't really have much to replace him there. Other than that, okay. Kirby, we could really use to pick up his play here, but I don't know what we could do to do that. He's motivated. How's our energy? Looking pretty good. Callum Kese on the right, Grise on the right, but we don't really have anybody there. We could, yeah, let's just try that for now, and let's go till 80 minutes and then see if we want to make any changes. So Major, maybe with fresh legs, can run by people here. 72 minutes. Gosh, we haven't had any highlights since, let's play to 80 here. Nothing. Maybe positive is worse? Should I go attacking? That feels risky here against the best team. What else could we do? Maybe push up the field a little bit more? Let's do that. Go up a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Let's try to hold in on them here. Um, and let's see if we got one more substitution here. Harrison for Baron on the right. 6.7. <clears throat> no, that's nothing there. Kirby still having a crappy game. Let's try so Adam Phillips. Let's bring him in. Same role. Center midfielding attack. See if he can help out. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ten minutes. Let's get a goal. Let's beat this team. Five minutes to go. Shouts. Demand more. Let's try that. Focused on the back. Uh-oh. No, 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 Get it. Good. Clear. Isn't it to us? They've had better chances since they've gone down by a man. Oh, a nine, this would be a nice place. 88th, 89th minute. Ah, oh, that's it? That's no highlight. The highlight is when the ball goes in the net. Get that. Good. Our ball. Let's clean it up. Baron, good. Good. Go, boy. Go, lad. Center it, finish, oh, just wide. Ah, I feel like we could win this one. Four minutes to go. Any last substitution we want. Okay, Burns had a lot of chances, 6.9, he's doing fine. Major is not doing any, Baron on the right. Let's just bring in Anaya and see if he has anything in him here for the last minute. Baron's had 90 something minutes. Looks like it's gonna be it, oh, last chance. Here we go, get there, ah. Hmm. Well, anyway, considering we're away against the best team, we had 17 shots to seven. I that's that's a good performance for us, I think. Well done, lads. You proved a lot of people wrong in avoiding defeat out there. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. No one really all that exceptional. Continue. <clears throat> I feel like more often than not, playing the way we played, we could we could take that game from them. So really happy with how that turned out. Nice to pick up a point on the road against the former first place team. Gillingham is now past them. Ha <laughs> ha. We've taken them off the top and just popped up on the bottom right hand of my screen. I know people can't see it is the achievement for park the bus. So this is what our fourth season now with FM 20 park the bus as you get five matches in a row without conceding a goal. So certainly our four, two, three, one, our four, one, Excuse me. Our 4-1-2-3 is working defensively. It's really kind of restored our defense to good form here. Be nice to get a little bit more offense out of it. Might be able to try to tweak that. I think when Robinson gets back and when our new wingers get in form, maybe they can add a little bit of an offensive punch to that. But yeah, all in all, so pretty happy with that. In the table now, where are we? We still we are in 30th place, a uh, 13th place. 30th place would be a little bit of a bummer. We moved up one spot, but again, we do have a match in hand. Were we to win that one and get 33 points, depending upon the goal differential, we could be in 10th place, and we're only five spots out of the playoffs. We're 15 spots above relegation. That's good. Five, so we're closer to the playoffs than we are to relegation, which is a really nice place to be, even though we're still in the bottom half of the table. So mm, it'd be nice to see if we could tweak this formation. I'm dreaming a little bit here, but it'd be nice to make those. That'd be a nice step to take. Be nice to kind of be really happy to see if we could write the season and get it looking forward here so that, you know, it started out kind of shaky and had a lot of problems and stuff like that. To be able to turn it around a little bit, improve in the second half would be good. So we are one match actually away from the halfway point, two matches away from the halfway point of the season. And there you have it. Coming, looking forward, I will, 
to come back. I may come back for Swindon Town, but we have so many matches in January that I'd like to come back maybe for Tranmere or Port Vale later on in the month to see if we can um, get some of these matches in in between. Otherwise, that's kind of a short break. But fingers crossed we can get that FA Cup third round match against Swindon Town. 155,000 pounds would be really nice. And anyway, um, thanks for stopping by. If you have enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, If you're new, please consider subscribing. And I hope your saves are going well. Have a great day. And we'll see you again on our next episode. Should be up on Monday on time uh, if all goes well. Thanks again. Bye.